week three of the NFL regular season starts soon. So let's get so let's get with these picks quickly because I don't have time for this bullshit. All right, tonight's Thursday night game: Dolphins going on the road to take on the Jacksonville Jaguars. Another black battle of Florida. This time it's North Florida versus South Florida. Uh, the Dolphins start the season 0-2 and, and the uh, Jaguars start the season 1-1. One and one. Uh, pr uh, Pretty good effort by the, by, uh, by the Jaguars uh, coming back by back to to tie the game against Tennessee before losing the game ultimately. And the Dolphins, uh, same, thi uh, same thing, they tried to come back against the Buffalo Bills in a game that had all sorts of issues, uh, technical difficulties, and, and, and lightning. So, great. Uh, go ahead, take, yeah. go ahead, take the Jacksonville Jaguars. I, Uh, I know I know NFL Network is hyping up both of these quarterbacks because of because of Ryan Fitzpat because it's Fitzpatrick versus Minshew, but go ahead and take Jacksonville to win. Uh, Titan, all right, on to the Sunday games. Titans going on the road to take on the Minnesota Vikings. The, the Titans are two and zero, and the Vikings are zero and two. Ooh, coin, ooh, co coin flip time. I should take. I, sh I should just stay with the safe pick and go with the Tennessee Titans. But then again, the Minnesota Vikings do need a win. So my hand-eye coordination. There we go. Heads. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Take the Minnesota Vikings to defeat the Tennessee Titans. Uh, next up, Washington going on the road to take on the Cleveland Browns. Uh, nice bounce back by the Cleveland Browns, at least from an offensive perspective. Their defense still has issues. And, the, and as far as the football team goes, the football team, fuck out of here. Yeah, as far as that, as far as Washington goes, goes at least they got, well, they, they finally went back down to reality just a little bit after that ass kicking that they took by the Arizona Cardinals. And now they're facing another former no, number one overall pick from the University of Oklahoma in Baker Mayfield. Now Mayfield is not really that great of a quarterback. Let's just call that let's just call that for for what it is. But I still see the I still see the I still see Washington struggling to uh to to defeat the Browns. So go ahead and take Cleveland the Browns to win this game. Uh, Bears going on the road to take on the Atlanta Falcons. What the fuck was that? Atlanta did... Uh, great. Great. Old habits die hard, don't they? Uh, yeah, well, now you're... Well, now you're going to face... A, now you're facing a fraudulent 2-0 football team. In the Chicago Bears, it, it is what it is. I get it by hook. I get it by hook or crook. They want their two and zero bottom fucking line. But the Falcons are not that bad of a foot. But the Falcons are not that bad of a football team. Take the Atlanta Falcons to defeat the Chicago Bears. Rams going on the road to take on the Buffalo Bills. Both teams are two and zero. Oh, very, very nice. Very nice. Uh, Rams, uh, my, my apologies. Uh, I know the Eagles are injury depleted, but that's no excuse for why the Eagles uh, play like utter fucking and shit. I mean, fuck out of here with that crap. crap. Um, so, yeah, good job by the Rams. However, they're facing a, be a better defense in the Buffalo Bills, so go ahead and take the Buffalo Bills to defeat the Rams and go 3-0. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Niners going on, staying on the road, and staying in the Meadowlands, rather, to take on the New York Giants. Well, and I guess we could call this one the Injury Bowl. <laughs> uh, uh, the 
Niners are banged up as fuck. Uh, apparent, and Jimmy Garoppolo is not going to be starting in this game. And, and we are. And on defense, we know about Nick Bosa and. What's that? Well, come on, what's that fucking Solomon Thomas, the four, the former number three overall pick of 2017. I think it. While he hasn't had that, uh, while he, well, I don't think he's had that bad of a career. I think it's safe to say he has not lived up to the to the no, to the number three overall pick billing. Anyway, but losing Nick Bosa is really gonna fucking hurt this football team down the line. And they and uh, Jimmy Garoppolo might not be starting in the, in this game. On the other hand, you got the Giants. They have no Saquon Barkley. After he tore his ACL in Chicago, so this is a tough. This is a tough game. So I got flipped for this one too. Heads, heads, heads. Mm. You know what though? The Giants are still not a good football team. Take the 49ers to win. Win. Bengals going on the road to take on the Philadelphia Eagles. Uh, Joe Burrow in his first two starts. Not too bad. He not too shabby. But not too shabby. I sound like an old fart when I say that, but whatever. Um, like I said, what the fuck was up with the Eagles last week? They got their fucking they got their fucking asses kicked by kicked by Tyler Higby, essentially. <laughs> and and the Bengals, like that is, uh, you know, at least Joe Burrow tried to bring the team back. Um, they still have some. They. Since he's still got some work to do, Philadelphia should be able to, to defeat the Cincinnati Bengals. Entry depleted or not. Take the Eagles to win. Raiders going on the road to take on the New England Patriots. Hurts. Fuck! <laughs> Fuck you, New Orleans, but you know, it is what it is. The Raiders are the Raiders are are 2-0. They deserve to be two and up. And and as far as the Patriots go, uh, what a fuck, what a fucking game they had the other night. The, on uh, this past this past Sunday, it, it, even in a losing effort, that was a fun game. That was a pretty good game to watch. Watch between between the quarterbacks Cam Newton and Russell Wilson. Uh, I think the. Now uh, the Raiders have to travel to New England in in shorter in much in, in in only in shorter rest than the Patriots do. So go ahead, take the New England Patriots to defeat the Oakland Raiders. The Las Vegas Raiders, goddammit. <clears throat> yeah, <laughs> yeah. T to be fair though, that stadium is fucking awesome. That stadium is fucking awesome. <laughs> At least the Raiders finally have a fucking home that they can call their own. <laughs> And no, and no more baseball fields. Texans going on the road to take on the Pittsburgh Steelers. The Texans are in very big trouble right off the bat. The Steelers, there's no signs, of, there's no signs of stopping that that Steelers defense. They are facing a better quarterback. They are facing a better quarterback. The first couple of weeks they were facing uh, Daniel Jones, who, who quite frankly is not living up to the. To, to the Giants' billing when they drafted him last year. Here, I mean, the fa I mean, Giants fans had every reason to be fuck to to, to knee jerk react at the time. Quite frankly, and then last week the Steelers uh the Steelers uh took out Drew Locke, and then which let and then Drew and then Jeff Driscoll had to take over for the remainder of the game. I want to make something clear. The Steelers would have won the game had Drew Locke stayed at at the court, at, stayed in as quarterback. In fact, it probably would have been even, even it would have been more of a blowout in my opinion, yeah, because, yeah, as I know, some people will think, oh well, if Drew Locke, uh, want, 
Uh, well, if Drew Locke uh, stayed in the game, the Broncos would have won. It's like, no, they, 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 no, they wouldn't have. So stop over. God damn, this is what I mean. Stop overing the shit out of Drew Locke. Fuck. But they're not going to because they're retarded. It is what it is. Anyway, on to this game. Tough game for me to pick. Tough, tough game for me to pick because, like I said, this is the first time the Steelers have to face an actual quarterback. But go ahead, take the Pittsburgh Steelers to defeat. Houston Texans. Moving on quickly to the late afternoon games. Panthers going on the road to take on the LA Chargers of San Diego. Oh, and this will be Justin Herbert's second start. Uh, nice, uh, nice effort by, uh, for a guy who had zero, for the guy who had no reps with the first team offense through practice. After, after their Dingleberry doctor decided it was a bright idea to puncture uh, Tyrod Taylor's there's lung after trying for whatever reason, I know the reason because it, it was for his it was it was to numb his cracked ribs, but he went too far and took and got his lungs instead. Good job. Uh, and now and now Tyrod Taylor might not be the starter for the remainder of the season, even if he's healthy. They should, they should really be starting Justin Herbert for the remainder of the season, no matter what, because it's not like they're a play, it's not like they are a playoff team. Oh, but they're talented, so so you you it doesn't matter how talented you are. Your quarterback is your quarterback is is the questionable fucking piece. It doesn't matter how fucking talented your your team is if you don't have that quarterback. And Tyler Taylor wasn't playing that fucking great to begin with. So fuck out of here. You're not a playoff team. Get over it. Now, as far as the Panthers go, they're also not a playoff team. And they suck. <laughs> but what do you but how can people complain about that when they have a rookie head coach and 60% of the ro roster is brand new? Coin flip time. Again. Tails. Tails. Go ahead, take Atlanta Tails, but but go ahead, take the LA Chargers of San Diego to defeat the Carolina Panthers of North Carolina. Moving on quickly. Jets going on the road to take on the Indianapolis Colts. Colts, end of story. Fuck out of here. Lions going on the road to take on the Arizona Cardinals. Cards, end of story, fuck out of here. Cowboys, going on the road to take on the Seattle Seahawks. Uh, now, nice comfort, nice miraculous comfort behind victory by the Dallas Cowboys. A win is a win, whether it, it, a win is a win. <laughs> Who cares, right? And, this, and the Seahawks, so I'm not, uh, that was a great Sunday night game. Uh, now, now your fate, now, now these are, now this is now yeah this game will be will be will be watched by most most of the nation. Uh, always interesting when these two teams get get together, especially Dak Prescott and Russell Wilson. Prescott, let's be honest here, he's an average quarterback. So I expect the so I so I expect Mike McCarthy to run the football. Go. However, Russell Wilson's playing out of his fucking mind right now. I expect that to continue. Take the Seahawks to win. Buccaneers going on the road to take on the Denver Broncos. And Drew Locke is out for four to for two to six weeks. Um, so the Broncos have all these injuries. Injuries. They lose Cortland Sutton uh, for for the season thanks to a torn ACL. Before that, they lose Vaughn, of course. Uh, Philip Lindsay is out. For a few weeks, for a few weeks, God, God, AJ Boye is out for for a couple more weeks. Jesus Christ! So Jeff Andrew Locke, like I said, is out for for, for a significant period of time, at the most, anyway. Um, now, Tom. Now, the only reason why the Broncos have a chance to win is because of Tom, because of Tom Brady's struggles against the Broncos in Denver. 
With that being said, and I expect Jeff Driscoll to play a better game because the Buccaneers defense is not is really not that good in the good in the grand scheme of things. I mean, he, Driscoll was facing a tough pit, a really tough Pittsburgh Steelers team. 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 However, I I think Denver's defense is is, is just banged up as fuck right now. Now, uh, it's going to take a while for Black, Bradley Chubb to get going. It's good. Seeing how he injured, seeing how he tore his ACL last year, and is still trying to get get his sea legs back. Take the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, the Tom Brady Buccaneers, to defeat the Denver Broncos. All right, Sunday night football: Packers going on the road to take on the New Orleans Saints. Uh, Rodgers, who's playing, who's playing really pissed off, thanks to thanks to the drafting of Jordan Love. Now, now. Which is funny because back 15 years ago when the Packers drafted Aaron Rodgers, Brett Favre was kind of playing like utter shit. Was kind of playing like utter shit. Kind of feeling like maybe he didn't have it anymore. And and don't say he didn't. Don't say he didn't think that because he wouldn't have thrown. And I know he had the. And I know he had some. I know he had an injury. What a shocker! But he wouldn't have thrown 29 interceptions if he did, if he thought otherwise. Anyway, 15 years later. Rodgers is is still kicking fucking ass. Probably. Yes, that, maybe that was the uh, maybe that maybe drafting Jordan Love was the was the wake up call that that Aaron Rodgers needed because he fucking got it. Now they are facing the Saints, who lost a tough game in in the Raiders' new sta stadium in Las Vegas. Um, however, when these two teams meet, the home team usually wins. So. Look for that trend to continue. Continue. Take the New Orleans Saints to defeat the Green Bay Packers. And on Monday night, Chiefs going on the road to take on the Baltimore Ravens. My bad, Baltimore. More you took advantage of, of the Texans playing like utter fucking shit. But it, but it, but it wasn't. But it was a nice victory for the Baltimore Ravens. It is what it is. And the Chiefs nearly got beat by a fucking rookie quarterback. However, it's division game, so take it with a grain of salt. <laughs> salt. The bottom line is the Chiefs won, the Chargers didn't. didn't. And I have to flip for this one because, because it's the Chiefs, it's the Ravens. Why wasn't this game on ABC? But anyway, <laughs> yes, it's back on yes, it's back to ESPN Primetime Football Monday, I guess. Um, coin flip time, enough talking. Heads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Ravens have, yeah, yeah. The one team that the that the Ravens, uh, at least uh, under uh, under Lamar Jackson, I should know who this guy is because he's the reigning NFL MVP. But anyway, yeah, yeah. Lamar Jackson is 0-2 against the Kansas City Chiefs. Well, and and I guess look for the. Look for the look for Lamar Jackson to get his first victory against the Kansas City Chiefs. They are at home. They should be be able to beat them. But this should be a really good fucking game, though. This game could go either way, quite frankly. But anyway, th anyway, that is it for week. Th that is it for week three. Thank you very much for watching. If Jen, Jen, if you didn't like this video, well, my fucking channel, I can do whatever the fuck I want with it, and you can't fucking stop me. 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 That's it. That's all. Till next time. Later. Fuckers.